stacks and hacks, stacks and hacks. You know how you go to like a wishing well and you throw coins in the wishing well? Yeah. Uh, a popular wishing well at a Roman bathhouse in England recently switched to contactless payments. So you can't toss coins in the fountain anymore. What? It's cost them $100,000 a year in donations. Yeah. You Terrible think? business. Did you see this in the news? A self-driving Waymo car got pulled over in Phoenix after driving the wrong way down a street and leading a cop on a short chase. There's chest cam footage of the cop talking to the Waymo employee over the car's intercom. Um, and by the way, if you guys, did you guys see it? Yeah. yeah, I saw it, but I didn't watch the whole thing, so I'm interested to hear what happened. The cop was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Like, I don't know what happened. I mean, like, how bizarre. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, and who gets the ticket? The person that's operating the Waymo car, Waymo that's company? That's a good question. Like, who gets the, the violation? That's what I want to know. I don't know how it ended. I didn't want to sit through the whole thing, but it's kind of like... Uh, you were driving the wrong way down the street. I'm sure anybody else doing that would get a ticket. Yeah. yeah. So I have to believe that to give somebody a ticket. I wonder what the rule is. Uh, is this a new dating hack? A woman in Wyoming, she's resorted to writing her contact information on golf balls and leaving them all around a golf course. <laughs> That's one way. <laughs> a poll found the top vacation spots, because most of us went on vacation, the top vacation spots for couples who want to get it on. Any guesses? Hawaii. Italy. <laughs> Where'd you say, Kyle? Italy. Rich, you said Hawaii? Yeah. Uh, Hawaii, Paris, Cancun, New York, Italy, Turks and Caicos, Portugal, and Lake Tahoe. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. The top things we regret buying. I'm going through that right now. I bought that stupid whoop strap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew you'd be over it sooner or later. Well, I left the sooner. battery in Coeur d'Alene. I left the charger oh, no. in Coeur d'Alene. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, my friend said he mailed it to me, but I don't know if it really is or not. But anyway... Uh, Electronics is number three on the list. Fitness equipment is on the list. Yeah. Furniture, a car, clothes is number one. Jewelry, a house, vacation, and wedding are up there too. Um, people are saying, you know how they always say the Simpsons predicts predicts the future? The Simpsons? Yes. Did you see they say that the Simpsons predicted the Haktua girl? No. no way. Listen what? to this. This is from a 1992 episode. 1992 episode of the of the Simpsons where Bart is smitten with a neighbor girl. Uh, she ends up hock tooing. Listen to this. Come on. I was going to tell your fortune. Huh? Oh, man. You're going to be rich. Whoa. There's your mansion. There's a tennis court. <laughs> and there's a swimming pool. See you later, Bart. <laughs> I'll never wash this hand again. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it say Hawk Tua. Yeah. Right? I guess I've like really enjoyed following the Hawk Tua girl's Instagram account. Yeah. Because she's just so charming. There's just something so country about her and mm-hmm. just so pure. Like she's like, I am not an industry plant. Like this just happened. So I'm a fan of hers. You know, I thought she was gonna go away after the debate. But she's stronger than ever now. I know. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, she, I mean they're looking at reality TV shows for her, like I know. What do you got, Rich, for life hacks? <laughs> okay, so uh, as I was saying before, like a lot of people are moving right now. 140 million people underneath heat advisory, but a lot of people are moving into their apartments right now. And you're really not moved in until there's what? Pictures on the wall, I feel like. Sheets on the bed, pictures on the wall. So do you just eyeball your picture? Experts say no. The top of your frame should be from the floor five feet Seven inches. Five, seven. That's where the top of all your pictures should be, unless it's like some kind of big, giant, oversized, you know, like eight-foot frame. Most of your pictures, the top of the frame should be at five, seven. If you do that, that is what art museums around the world have all decided that is the standard. So if you want to be cool like an art museum and have your pictures now, John Jay, you're tall. You'd be looking down at those. But mm-hmm. me, I'd be looking up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Gilbert, what's up? You're on the air. Good morning. Hey, good morning, uh... We're just calling, um, it's my daughter's birthday today, and we listen to you guys every morning, and we were headed out to breakfast, and I was like, you know what? Let me try and call and see if they can wish you a happy birthday. Yeah, how old is she? She's 13 years old. She's uh, she's on the line as well. What's her name? Her name's Haley Garcia. Hey, Haley. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Haley. 13? That's <laughs> a good one. Where are you guys going to breakfast? Where are we going, Haley? Denny's. Denny's. Oh, that's right. Free birthday. Free birthday. I tell you what. I'll, we're also going to give you a gift card over easy, so you can have breakfast at over easy. Okay. So hold on. Of course, Alrighty. probably we'll get it to you today. So you probably go to breakfast on her birthday another day. Bonus. <laughs> bonus birthday breakfast. Yeah. 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 So hold on. Hold on the line. Hold on. Happy birthday.